Nasi lemak, nasi lemak. Yes, I'll be eating nasi lemak from the famous village park nasi lemak today. What's up everyone, I'm Wayne Liu. Welcome to another eating show on Itoko. I really, really want to do more eating shows like this. So please click on the subscribe button or like Itoko's Facebook page. Today we have nasi lemak from Village Park Nasi Lemak in Pataling Jaya. And I cannot wait, I've been waiting all week to eat this because it's been on my list for some time now. And over here I have nasi lemak I am goreng, which is their signature. In fact, I have two of them. And on top of the nasi lemak, I also have squids in curry. I love squids and curry. And then um, there is also beef rendang as well. So let's dig in. And oh yeah, before I forget, I also have a bottle of Coke here just to help me finish everything here as well as I eat. So let's dig in. I'm gonna start with the one on my ship here. Oh my god, so heavenly. There's like, there's some peanuts and anchovies here. Mm. Maybe because I ordered <clears throat> the nasi lemak using food delivery, the fried anchovies are kind of soggy, but all good. Gotta mix the <clears throat> sambal with the rice a little bit. Sambal tastes so good. <clears throat> Normally when I eat nasi lemak, I try not to eat the chicken and the rice together. So I usually leave the chicken until the last because you leave the best until the last, right? So, so that's my preference when it comes to eating. Spicy, spicy. <clears throat> it seems like the nasi lemak is the sambal. It's spicier than you, it used to be. Let's try the chicken. Mm. 
It's really good. It's good actually, it's just nice, <clears throat> not too hard, and it's still a, a little oily, which is what I like, but yeah, I like it. And one thing that is really tasty about the chicken is actually the, the skin. I think they have some lemongrass and like spices there. So that makes the skin really, really good. It's not like crunchy, but it smells really nice and it tastes really good. Usually when it comes to chicken with bones, <clears throat> I don't finish my chicken in a very clean manner. But I know some people, they will actually break the bones and like just chew out like all the tiny, tiny bits of like meat. But I don't do that. Simply because too much work is involved and I'm a lazy person. So, so there might be some wastage. Whenever I eat chicken. And in general, I don't like anything with like shells and like bones and because <clears throat> hashtag too much effort. Let me just scrape all the rice and sambal to one side, just so I have, I have space to put this bone. And then I'm gonna, oops, I'm gonna finish off the rest and the egg oops the yolk split into two And speaking about eggs, I mean, eating eggs, last week, <clears throat> I think the most liked photo, so an egg, a picture of an egg, became the most liked photo ever, like it sets a world record, most liked egg, most liked photo ever, just, just an egg, it's just an egg, and it became the most liked photo ever on Instagram. I have no idea. So like the previous record was held by Kylie Jenner, like she's a celebrity. And then some random social media just put up like a photo of an egg 
with even like a white background there's nothing it's just an egg and i think the na the egg even has a name i think it's called like eugene i think i'm, I'm not sure but like, i think it's called eugene and the lady was just like asking everybody on social media saying that let's make a new world record on like social media and the internet responded by just liking the photo and now it's the most like photo on instagram it's just an egg with a white background amazing like the internet is really really amazing I'm gonna start my second plate of nasi lemak and I'm gonna move some squids to my rice just to have the curry as well going on top of my rice like take some And then I will put some beef rendang onto my rice as well and the curry which is probably gonna taste amazing looking at this heap of food I'm gonna start with the cucumber which is the least tasty food on the plate in my opinion And then I'll eat the egg. And then I'll try the squid. So chewy and it's not the type of chewiness that <clears throat> it's not the type of chewiness that that is hard for you to chew it's actually really nice okay let's have the rice I'm gonna mix everything together so like now the squid the beef the rice the sambal the curry is all mixed together in like a pile of like let's try this no <laughs> it's gonna be awesome oh my god I think the sambal is too spicy for me mm. but it's the kind of spiciness that makes you wanna keep eating
，米粉呢？The other day in the news, <clears throat> I read that WeChat, the popular messaging app from China, now has 1 billion users and everyone around the world is looking forward to the point in time where user growth is going to slow down because that happens with every app. And WeChat is actually not gaining that much traction among international users so they're trying to figure that part out what's interesting is that up to this point we hasn't focused on doing any monetization activity at all so they started i think even in malaysia as well i think they started serving ads in the news feed section and but like it's not there's no like major push so but in malaysia i think i know a lot of people are using the app especially in the malay and like chinese community at least and i think it would be an if, i think it would be interesting for like marketers to start looking into the platform especially if you are excuse me especially if you are trying to reach out <laughs> To Malaysians because <clears throat> with everything marketing um, usually something new or placement that's new is usually the cheapest and you want to go where the attention is as far as I understand like people who use WeChat really like the feed because Unlike Facebook, WeChat puts a lot of focus on short videos and photos, which is, I think, what people like to consume. So yeah, so like advertising on WeChat is really something worth looking into if it's available in your country and if you're a marketer. Dig into the chicken. Mm. I really like the smell of the lemongrass on the skin of the chicken but lemongrass on its own I don't really like
I have this fear that the chicken might just like fly off as I'm like trying to cut it. <clears throat> I don't I don't wanna use my hand. It's too I'll use my hand next time, but not now because I'm almost done and my hand is clean. I don't wanna dirty them. <clears throat> That's it I guess. Any more squids? No. No more beef as well. Yeah, no more food. I'm good. And I'm thinking about like the cravings. That I have. So right now with this eating show, how I do it is. Every time I have a craving, I will put it onto a list. And then I will figure out or I will schedule in my calendar like when to eat them and all that. And right now on the list, I have like noodles, dumplings, Korean food. That's a big one. And I don't know when I'll be eating that. But like I have a, like a long list of like restaurants and the type of food that I really want to eat on this show. That's it. If you like this show, please remember to give me a thumbs up or click on the like button. Until the next episode, tell me what is your favorite food in the comment section. I would love to eat them on camera. And please, again, remember to subscribe. Bye.